guys, Villa Sync back again with Red Shadow Legends. So, guys, sorry, it's been a few days, I've been slightly under the weather, having some minor health issues. Kinda, they're kind of under control now. I've just got to collect um, prescription later on today, and then I've got to get bloods on Monday. I mean, but everything is. Kind of more on grasp than it's been the last couple of days, hence why I haven't really done anything. I haven't been. I've, I think there was a day I never even logged in. Which for me really says something quite interesting. But um, yeah, a lot has happened in that couple of days though. Like this Iron Twins thing, there's uh, just blessings and stuff. There's been loads of videos. People have been making unkillable teams. People, like there's been great content by Mark Chan, Murder, Scratch, and so I'm doing a little bit of this just now, and then I did see something in the market that I was debating buying because I was thinking if we do a, if I bless one of my champions and it's just like a one star blessing, they still get the blessing which is quite cool. Uh, it rotates twice a day, I believe, so it's every 12, 12 hours. I think it changes. So, it may be worth checking that out. Oh, I think that's rain, or is that like a truck or something? I'm not sure if you can hear that. That's insane. We've had really, really insane weather the last couple of days. Well, I think that must be some type of truck or something. Really insane. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a a stage or two on this. I'm going to, uh, watching some of the um, stuff on this particular um, dungeon and whatnot. When, when, when we've seen the videos before, like the What's New in Raid video, where we've seen this and we thought, cool, or potentially going to have to come in with all champions that are the same affinity and so forth and then you kind of realize you really don't and that's yeah, because it was quite easy after that was noted on a video by Plarium they buffed this champion considerably so you need like 550 resistance I think or over 500 at least uh, I think I've got like 450 on jewel i think and you probably need no well, sorry maybe five 500 resistance and like 600 plus accuracy 700 plus accuracy it's fucking insane it turns out uh you really don't need to come in with all the same affinities yes you're going to get the i one wand thing uh, but yeah you don't need to come in with any teams that are the same affinity it just um uh, and it's quite it's quite good in that respect because now you're not having to look at even more champions and either change a build or build somebody up and use resources geomancer works in all affinities i had a feeling that was going to work from day one and i seen a video from murder ring which is really cool which is why i'm going to use this comp and i just recently rebuilt Geomancer for this, and if that happens, I have three revivers. There ain't nothing this deed is going to kill, trust me. So that's my plan for the first six stages. I am not a fan of the fact, uh, after this, we'll take a little look at something. And I'm not sure I agree with it. I mean, I understand why it's there, it's marketing, they're trying to make money from it, and Realistically, you'd probably be stupid to sell things really, really cheap to begin with because it works for the community because it's just not Plarium. They like to put things out at a higher value uh, and the more you buy, that value increases. But you can get refreshes. So I can do the first six stages and he just kills himself because I, his turn meter gets boosted and then he gets scuppered and that's it, game over. 
So if what we have here is we have the ability to refresh fully restores the maximum number of fortress keys for 150 gems and that's one a day so monday to sunday if you are playing this and some wills will be that's 1050 gems a week 1050 gems a week are going to be spent purely on what we're what we're getting here that we have that to crack on with but what i wanted to take a look at was I wanted to. I was about to take a look. So the Mystic Market is where you can get some stuff. Uh, Smiley did a really good video. Check it out explaining like mortal soul stones, immortal soul stones, and the soul essences and why you'd be better getting the essence because you can summon stuff with a, a a soul stone, but the soul essence you can physically buy. For the champion you want to buy for so there's no rng in it and i was thinking of potentially because i've seen lissandra and i'm thinking is it worth is it worth with soul essence because i could easily get more i have five thousand of these things to be fair i'm not going to be doing the refresh but i will be trying to build some stuff up whatnot i don't think i'm going to be summoning just yet and this right here is the soul essence is purely for the soul merchant the soul stones are purely for summoning granted random champions so i've got big gun i've got lissandra it even crossed my mind to potentially have something for buringiri so, I mean, I don't think it really would help him against Bommel, but should I purchase Lissandra Perfect Soul or Big Gun Perfect Soul? Now, being a Perfect Soul, it's quite cool. It allows me to uh, utilize the blessings. She can, that's probably one for a Termeter, that's probably one for this, for that. And it's very easy to purchase it. So, let's just say. I wanted to buy Immortal Soul Essence and I've got 500 of these. I could spend all that on Soul Essence. So let's do it just for argument's sake. Look, let's just buy 50. That's it done. Now I can guarantee the I can get that there. But the question is, does it go to your mailbox? You buy Soul Essence. You buy soul essence and it should go up so why did am i missing something here did i not just physically make a purchase so so the amount of soul lessons you want to purchase i purchased one so that should go up from 26 am i not mistaken there or am i just being a bit retarded I feel I am, but I think uh, what I'm going to do regardless is I'm just going to go for this Lissandra thing because I feel like I just got screwed over. I wasted something and I now do not have the coin that I should have to show for it. But we can go into Lissandra and we can take this one star soul and we can awaken her. Take a look at this pretty sick animation, it must be said. Go to your collection to explore blessings. So let's take a look at whatever the hell you're talking about. So, where can I put on this fucking... So, blessings. Is this what I need to tap on? Looking your champion further for better blessings. Soul merchant, I don't need it. Not enough souls. So, where, let's see, so. Well, there, Mystic Market. So, where, so the alternate souls. Do I need to quickly check the. 
And this Plarium have purposefully made this just a fucking pain. Looking abilities, blessings, powerful new massive abilities. Boost their stats, transform the way, blah 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 blah. So the Iron Twins is what we just saw. Need to get that to begin, yes. I bought 50 and don't have it. So, one is to use your forces keys. Awakening to awaken, blah blah blah. And the Bastion, other souls, that's where you'll use souls to get your champions. I have a soul, okay. Important to the blessings. Use blessings, we also have divinity. And each divinity has rare, epic, legendary blessings. Their champions can only access blessings. Only epic epic champions can only access blah blah blah. Yeah, so there's a few ways to get your hands on them. Yeah, so that half of that I don't care about. Let me just quickly log in. <laughs> the first video back is not going well. So I'm assuming you don't do it in the tavern because that would just be that would be stupid, right? Okay, my apologies, it's here. So, light, dark, chaos. So, chaos, first and foremost. Chance of placing a sheep debuff whenever they place debuffs on this champion. I could just piss people off and I can swap it. This champion attacks, each has a chance to smite. No. Ignored, no. Uh, and the, the rare ones, come on now. Destroys a portion of revived enemies' match HP when they are revived. When this champion hits an enemy target and decreases their HP, she's not really a damage dealer, it's a dark. Uh, decreases each enemy's speed for each active buff they are under. I don't mind that, she is a turn meter speed kind of booster, so. She's on a number of bone armor stacks. Decreases the damage the recipient receives from a single hit. So Ward of the Fallen is actually not the worst either. One bone armor stack reduces damage received by 20%. Not really that bad. Decreases enemy speed by 2% for his buff. So in an arena that could be quite good. I'm not against that to be fair. But I feel like a legendary champion should so start with a legendary blessing. Just ensure teams aura and weakens the enemy. So if you got Arbiter, I can make it quicker. Whenever an enemy revives, you know, so it receives a buff or has their turn meter filled. Places one lightning orb stack on this champion. When activated, a lightning orb stack randomly protects one other active buff from being removed, stolen or transferred. So when an enemy gets a buff, we so I need to I would need to put her with some type of buffer then. So I might just have to do in maybe we just try this one. Strengthens the team aura and because it can be changed at some point. So let's just let's go with it. It is what it is. I thought I was going to get some type of cool animation there. But as we see, we have a small icon on the champion. And uh, it's the first video back. And as a chance to take a look at this, it isn't really that bad. Uh, you do have a wish list. So I'm going to show you mine. You might not be interested, but I'm going to show you anyway. Rares, Cold Heart, because, I mean, why not? Epics, Seer, you're going to have to put Seer in there. Geo, you've got everybody's favourite witch, Ceres, Duchess, Rotos, Ninja, 
Ninja is just because I like him. That's why he's there. Rotos because I can make him an animal and Duchess because I can make her even stronger. Uh, so we'll end it here. I'm about to have to leave to get the prescription soon. I'm getting close to 200 ancients for the 200, sh uh, 200 shards for 200 subs. Uh, I'm about to jump back into the Iron Twins Fortress. And we'll stick around for one more battle and then I'll bid you a farewell. Um, let's see. Tell me what you think of this team also. It's just purely off of the idea that murder ink made. I'll, I'll show the build later. Uh, oh, I'll show the build later at some point and I'll tell you. Granted it was just like a 5-10 minute build but it meets certain requirements that you're going to need for this dungeon. So we're going to get a boss up, that's cool. And as soon as we get a boss, see how he's turn meter boosted up really quick. You could realistically put Reflex on Geomancer. I should have to change his master is make sure he's constantly getting turn meter as well. Because every time he hits us under the HP burn, he's doing... Respectable damage. Well, we're doing respectable damage back, and that's the plan. So effectively, he will kill himself. So at the end of this battle, we'll call it quits. So normally, it isn't that long to win either. It's normally quite easy. I'm just not a fan of doing the refreshes. I think it's a. Uh, people are going to do it. They're going to get to level twelve. Every affinity in the first four days are going to be level 12 and every affinity is what it is. And the more end game they are, they're going to not have a team for that affinity. They will just have the same champions. Chris and Geo and Duchess and Sifi and all to Hanarak and all your very strong champions. But for your lesser game people, you know. There are people that do not want to throw a crap load of money at it. That 150 gems could help you progress in dungeons. Could give you energy to finish the champion training event. Can help you do this and do that. So the decision to spend that is up to you as always guys. But that is the first of hopefully multiple videos for today. Let me know what you think of... The Iron Twins Fortress, let me know what you think of that awakening. Let me know what you think of the team, just everything about this video. Because I've been gone a few days, so good to get some feedback. Remember though, stay safe, keep on reading. I'll see you soon.